All right, this video is going to be for our Monday Tai Chi class. So we're going to start with some of the Qi Gong or the exercises we do at the beginning of the class. White sashes, this one's going to be for you to get started. We're going to be working on some of the silk whirling. So I'll show you a couple to get going. So first one, we'll start with one hand. And usually you can just copy the person in front of you. So you take either hand that's here, just bring it up. We try to time the body coming down. Up to the top. And if I want to switch hands, I'll come up, palms face each other, and then switch. So I'll go back and forth for a second. You can also add pushing out to the side. So as I come up for this time, I'll take the hand, push, and then from there, I can just go palm up and switch sides. And then you also have two hands here. We'll both palms up. And same thing, so I still want to sink the body down. Push out to the side. And then up. Now let's do a little free flow. Kind of thing we have some fun with a little bit. And then I pass it off to Hancho for the next one. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much, Miss, Miss, Miss Ambrosio. Good to see everyone on this Monday. Uh, for our gold sashes, I want to review the uh, ball exercises, we call it. Uh, so remember, for this one, you start with embrace the tree. So you can bring it around. You can just keep your knees slightly bent. Focus on the space in between your fingertips. Breathe in the nose. Out the mouth. Remember to keep your elbows rounded. You don't want to drop them, but keep the arms up, circular. When you breathe, uh, when you inhale, breathe in through your stomach. Exhale out the mouth so the chest doesn't rise, but rather the stomach goes in and out. You can slowly start bringing the fingers closer together. Start with the middle finger, touch, ring finger, first finger, baby finger, and finally thumb. Let the hands vibrate between touching and not touching. Slowly start to separate the fingers. Should be about a half inch now. Feel the connection between the hands even while there is no physical connection. Slowly now bring them in and out. Squeeze the ball. Next, we'll roll the ball. Feel the hands work together. Now massage the ball. Feel the heat from the top hand into the bottom one. You can switch if you like. Again, massage the ball. And then finally, submerge the ball. Feel the hands fight gravity on the down. And then you can relax. I'll turn it all over now to Miss DeCoast for our next exercise. Thank you, Hancho. All right, moving on for our red sashes, we have walk the circle. So we're gonna start with our palms down. <clears throat> Make sure you use your right leg and right hand. They go up and cross, and keeping your eyes on the, the hand in the center, just walking the circle, imagining the color red. And that's for the first chakra, which is the perineum. Moving on, we're going to go in the opposite direction. Hands go out, cross the left foot. The color is green. And this is for the heart. And then lastly, 
up high, cross that right foot. This is for the sixth chakra. This is the third eye and the color is purple. And then stroke the beard. Very nice, everyone. Sensei time. Greetings, everybody. We're gonna go through an advanced exercise, and this is more for our senior Tai Chi students called standing on a stake. So we start weight press towards the balls of the feet, arms out to the sides. And I'll go through the individual parts and pieces. Just remember that you can hold these postures a little bit longer when you're practicing. So imagine you're inhaling and energy is coming out the fingertips into the earth. Between each posture, we'll do Gashu or prayer position. This is a good time to go through a personal prayer or even just a positive affirmation. Sometimes it helps close the eyes, clear the mind, and just relax and breathe. From there, we go to embrace the tree. If you can, take a low posture with the legs, bend the knees. Focus on the space between the fingertips. Go through the macrocosmic orbit. Breathe in through the fingertips, through the arms, down the front of the body, all the way down to the balls of the feet, up the back of the legs, to the spine, to the top of the head. And as you breathe out, send everything down to the lower stomach and contract. And there's three inhales and three exhales. And then you spiral. I'm right-handed, so from my right hand all the way around, faster each time, faster each time. It, that's an advanced meditation you can do with this posture. And go back to Gashu, prayer position. Both hands will cover the stomach. And what you actually want to do is do the rocking first. My, my apologies. So you'll rock forward and back on the heel. So start with this one. You have my mistake on record. No marketing allowed. All right. Back to prayer position. And from here, you would then take it to embrace the tree. And then prayer position. You guys are high sashes, I'm sure you got this. So I'm gonna open the feet up, both palms up, uprooting. Remember the goal as you inhale, bring positive good things into your body. And then go back to prayer position. And then cosmic consciousness, right hand out, left hand inside. Left heel on the right ankle. Look through the triangle formed by the thumbs. Look out beyond you. Be aware of your surroundings. And then back. And then finish both arms out to the side, standing on a stake position, just like we began. So the exercise can recycle and restart if you wish. Just remember after the first prayer position, you're gonna rock, prayer, embrace, prayer, uproot, prayer, cosmic consciousness, prayer, back to standing as a repeat. We'll finish off today's class for the Black Book Club members with just a quick review of our saber. So just remember everybody, we, we stopped here last lesson and focused on what comes after that. So I drop the tip, roll the saber, push out 45 degrees, halfway back, or halfway up rather, all the way back, lift, push, shift, out to the side, right? Bring this across, now reach out, drop the handle, cut with the saber, and then the new section, we draw back, we bring it down, and then at the very last second, step through. This is straight up, and this is straight out. Now I'm gonna turn for you today, and we're gonna try that again.
So I hope we give it to you from a different direction. I'll help you practice at home. Thanks, guys. Have a great, great night.